United Nations on Wednesday moved no closer to getting Americans their Cuban cigars and rum. Every year for 26 years, the UN General Assembly holds a vote condemning the US embargo on Cuba. And every year the Americans, not surprisingly, fail to support it. Well, actually last year was a little different and the Obama administration abstained for the very first time. But a lot could change in a year. And these days it's all about making America great again. Which mostly means doing the opposite of whatever the black guy did when he was in the White House. To those who are confused as to where the United States stands, let me be clear. As is their right under our Constitution, the American people have spoken. They have chosen a new president, and he has chosen a new ambassador to the United Nations. Haley justified this year's no vote as a favor to the Cuban people, and she was unsparing in attacking their government's human rights record, even if that's rarely an issue when countries like Saudi Arabia and the Philippines are the ones doing the abusing. The government silences its critics. It disrupts peaceful assemblies. It censors independent journalists and rigs the economy so the government alone profits. Haley dismissed the whole exercise as a waste of time, and technically that's true. Resolutions in the General Assembly are non-binding and unenforceable. But Haley had an even better reason, which is that the U.S. just doesn't care what other countries think. Once again, the resolution passed, this time by a vote of 191 to 2, with only Israel joining the U.S. So close, but no Cuban cigar. This is Michael Astor reporting the unstory for American Television News.